What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Random Ramblings. I'm Jerome. I'm Nick. And I'm Fat Ninja. Yeah, this is our first official uh, episode of Random Ramblings because it wasn't. We didn't know it was going to be called this last time. Yeah, we didn't. Oh, yeah, I guess. All so, right. yeah, it was the Random Ramblings talking about Unsolved, the murder of Tupac and Biggie. Well, I forgot it was actually about a show. I mean, it kind of is. I do got one question for you, though, Nick. Yes. I told you we should do a segment on here where you have some, like, a question for Hess that's like a big theory or something about anything in the world. That'd be a fun segment on the show. Oh, yeah. Did you think of a question? No. Okay, well, think of one by the end of the show, and we'll do that. Well, that's a lot of pressure. (laughs) It's the only thing I ask of you. It's a lot of pressure. All right, so let's jump into the show. Uh, we got our uh, Tupac expert, Hess, here. Yeah, what do you think about this episode of uh, Unsolved Murder of Tupac and Biggie? Uh, it was good. It was good. I obviously enjoyed it. Uh, there was more Tupac in it. Uh, I was a, a little disappointed. A lot was, more Tupac. Yeah. yeah, well, yeah, sure. I was a little disappointed with the way they portrayed him, but I guess that's just kind of like, how he was. Like how? Like what? What didn't you like about it? Uh, I didn't like how like he kind of flipped out on those two like teenagers when they were at Fat Burger. Oh, but, I thought I mean, that was weird too. Yeah. Uh, I didn't like, even think twice about it. I don't know. I, just, I, I don't was, really know Tupac, but when he did that, I was like, "Oh, that's weird." But I, I did. I did. You know, obviously, I'm a huge Tupac fan. So, yeah, he, you know. What do you think about the death scene that they had for him? Um, from what, from everything I've ever heard or read, that it, that is true. He that's that was his last words were "fuck you" to the police officer. That surprised me actually when that happened. Oh really? Yeah, I didn't know that. So when he did that, I thought he was gonna like give some insight, and then he's like. Fuck you! And I was like, oh, he goes out like a hard ass. Yeah, I kind of... I I wasn't 100% sure what he said, but I knew it wasn't something good. I just didn't remember. You know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. Um, it was a little spooky when they were, like, driving down, like, the actors are driving down the street, and then they flashed to the real photo. Oh, yeah, and them. someone took a picture of him, and it's yeah. really too... Yeah, that was weird. And I was like, wow, I'm like, that was, like... The last picture of him alive it was by some fucking dude driving by or whatever. Yeah, can you imagine being that guy and being like, I took the last picture of Tupac ever? I mean, because you... I'm about to do I, I've, more. I've seen that. <laughs> well, you know what I mean. <laughs> a, a thousand times. Oh, yeah. No, me too. And, and, I, and I never I never knew that that was the last picture of him taken when, when he was alive. Because there was something in his eyes, too, that was like, hey, is that guy shooting me or something? I don't know. It was just like... It yeah, was it was weird. Like, he, didn't, he looked unnerved when that guy took a picture. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think they kind of set that up by that scene earlier at the Fat Burger. Oh yeah, he was, I think I think he was like paranoid. Yeah, totally. That, the the people, you know, the people were gonna try to kill him or whatever, you know. But not paranoid enough to ride with his bodyguard. Yeah, it was what's sad is like because like for us we knew that's gonna happen. So when he says that, he's like, "Oh yeah, I'm gonna go grab a chick," and we're like, "I was like, oh, but you probably and, shouldn't." And did he? Did he? Um, was that chick that he was with? Was that Quincy Adams' goddaughter? Is that what was said in there? Uh, Quincy Jones. Quincy Jones. Okay. Yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Quincy Adams was uh, what president or something? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh God, he's already at it. I don't know why I said Quincy. Adams. Oh God. <laughs> John fuck. John Quincy Adams was a president. I did not. I did not know that. I did not know that he was uh, dating her or at least fucking her or whatever you know they called it. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't know that either. Uh, I know. I, re- I really liked when, um, what are you looking just, at? I, his dogs just shut the door. That <laughs> <laughs> was Abby. Oh, okay. uh, his dogs are really good, yeah. yeah. I was like, damn. Um, Abby I, does not shut the door when she leaves. I liked the whole scene they had when they were like, showing the murder of Tupac, but like with his security guard, how he was telling the story, he kept cutting back and forth. It was a lot like how they did Biggie's, but yeah. I, I really I really liked the way they did that. No, it was a very interesting episode. It, it, it was, it's... What's annoying is, is we're not going to, at the end, like, nothing's going to happen. Well, that's, to me, that's really frustrating with the shows. I really like um, Jimmy Simpson's story, like, because he, he's in the past and learning it, but then you know that there's another group in 2006 trying to figure it yeah, out. So, what he... so you know he doesn't get anywhere, but it's like, oh, he's, like, leading up to stuff, but he's not really, you know? Yeah, and hey, Bunk was a dick in this episode. Yeah, he was a fucking asshole. I was going yeah. to... Gonna... Yeah, he was a complete... Like just dick, and he had the fucking bolo tie on, like he's a goddamn fucking cowboy. <laughs> oh, I didn't even notice that. Is uh, is yeah, he had a fucking boyo, a bo- a boyo tie or whatever the fuck they call him? Yeah, um, bolo or boyo. I think is, I know it's not boyo, 
but I know what he's I'm saying. I it. cannot think Maybe of what it's called. Maybe it's a bolo tie. It might be bolo, yeah. Um, you guys yeah, excited like, for? You guys excited for Billy Walsh being in the show? Oh yeah, did you notice that? Who the fuck is Billy Walsh? Remember from Entourage? He's the director of Medellin. Yeah, in okay. Queens Boulevard. Do you didn't, remember? Notice, didn't notice it. You didn't notice him. He's part of the new. He's part of the team in uh, season six. He was the guy wearing the shorts and the sandals. Oh, the the like surfer dude or whatever. Yeah, yeah, it's Billy Walsh yeah, from yeah, Entourage. Yeah. I was Remember, super excited when he's I saw in like him. A hundred episodes of Entourage. Yeah, I'm surprised I, that Heston catch that. I was yeah. going through a breakup. I was going through a breakup when I watched Entourage, so I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I thought he was gonna say this tonight. This episode, I was like, holy shit! And she's back there already. <laughs> So your memory doesn't work when you're going through. No, if he, ah, if he, you know, I mean, it's just a scattered frame of. Can mind, you can you imagine you know? that though? If he's got a memory now, <laughs> imagine what it was during Entourage. Wow. Yeah. Touché. Did I watch like I think I watched all those seasons in like a week or something? Like it was just like bang, 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 <laughs> bang, bang, bang. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> but, well, you know. they seem to make quite an impression. I did. I I got hooked quick. <laughs> <laughs> but but not hooked on Billy Walsh. Yeah, we're like fuck him. I don't remember. Um, uh, you know, did he have long hair in the fucking show? Uh, at some point he did. I he think. did, and then he's all drugged out, and then yeah. he cut it, and then he. Was yeah, but see, make... you guys pay attention. You guys pay attention more than I do. Well, usually when I watch shows, that happens. Seem... I'm the same way. I've always been the same way. Like with movies, like I don't retain, like I don't retain the knowledge that just sits on the dome. Which is odd because like, he wants somebody, to do podcasts somebody... on them. <laughs> No, 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 no. But like, if you guys say something, it, it'll it'll trip, it'll trigger the memory. Right. But it, I'm not like I'm not like one to like start a conversation. Like, there's a lot of people that uh, are, are big movie quote people. I'm not one of those guys. <laughs> I think Taylor's here. Dogs are home. Uh, we could uh, we could do like a, a segment where name that uh, movie quote, and I, it would be fucking hilarious because I would have no idea on any of them. Yeah, but I mean, no offense, but yeah, I wouldn't. You don't even watch movies. I mean, you watch movies, but I mean, come on. It, it, yeah, I could stump right. you easily. It wouldn't even For be sure. fun. But you could do it with like, like popular, obvious movies. Like See, Wakanda. What? <laughs> that was a Black Panther I reference. Like, yeah. What'd you say? He what? said Wakanda. Oh, they said Rwanda. I'm like, what is that? That's a movie, I think. Rwanda. Yeah. Black black people. Black black people in Africa, yes, or Rwanda. They're in Rwanda. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> is it is that in Africa? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I Never don't. Saw. I don't know what just came out of his mouth. <laughs> um, I think I said Rwanda like six times. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So let's get back to unsolved a little bit. What'd you guys think of all the? We get the reveal, which we kind of already figured that there's so much police officers inside. Um, can they Death Row. Death Row Records. I told you that last week. Well, yeah, but I'm saying we get that in the show now. Yeah, I mean, it's funny because I don't, I don't know a whole lot about the murder investigations of either either one of them. I mean, yeah. I, I know they both weren't solved, and I know a lot of people don't talk. And, like, I know that they think Shug Knight's involved with either or both. You know, it's all, but it's all speculation and rumor, but... Um, when they start telling you, oh, this this cop was here, and then this cop was here, and then this guy talked to Suge right before this, and you're like, god damn. Yeah, it seems like it was, it's solved, but just hidden. And every time they, they show Suge Knight, even though that dude looks nothing like him, <laughs> yeah. Um, I just picture him backing over two dudes on TMZ. Yeah. Thinking, oh, yeah, he probably killed both of them. I mean, he very well could have. Or at least been responsible. Although for it them. was a good move by him if he had Tupac killed, which I don't know, whatever, um, to stay in the car and drive. I mean, that takes some balls. Yeah. And then and then and then get arrested immediately when when the cops show up. Yeah, I was surprised that the cops arrested. Uh, Although that's a good night. And then the other guy is the security guard. Yeah. Security guard's name was Frank, I believe. Frank or Franklin. Yeah, yeah. I, was, I was actually surprised. Like, that one cop came up in there, like, hey, you see? He was on, like, a shot. Like, we're here to help. And the, the guy's just like, who shot you? Yeah, but, I mean, they're they're just reacting to the gunfire. Like, so, so do, you think that, do you think that someone called it in, or were they responding to the fight at the MGM Grand? I'm sure people called and said that someone got shot, too. Were, were cell phones big in 96? I don't remember. 
I mean, there could probably could have been a payphone or yeah. A I mean, place on the nearby. strip, there's like a thousand people okay. on the strip. I mean, it's okay, not it's yeah. not it's not like they run down an alley though. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, for sure. Oh, and I did I did look up more about we talked last week about uh, Biggie's mom's lawsuit, mm-hmm. and I said I figured it was like undefined or whatever. But yeah. I looked it up what it all meant, and basically it's like they closed the case; it can can never be opened again. Oh really? And all, like the way they did it, but yeah, she she didn't win. So I don't so know, I don't I don't know if old case forever. Yeah, they they said the the way they closed it down it can't be reopened. Well, then why are we even fucking watching the show? It seems stupid. Well, but I think the 2006 case that means that you guys in 2006 might actually find something to make it so the it doesn't look like the police did that or whatever or whatever. Because remember, he that's what he said is to help, the reason they're looking it up is to not get the police in trouble. <clears throat> right. So they might actually save them. But isn't so? Just like OJ, when OJ went to trial. Like, you can't get convicted for murder again. Yeah, double jeopardy. Yeah, but then he, but then he still, civilly, he got sued and was found right. guilty and owes all those people money. So, like, maybe she can't bring it up again, but, like, they could still look for the murderer. Do you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying is that she can't sue the police, the, that state police anymore. Right. With, because of that, which is, leads me to believe that the guys figure something out. And stop that, because that was the point. It, did it say anything about like a settlement or anything? Uh, not that I read. It was it was very vague. A lot of what I saw. Well, also, I mean, or they just couldn't prove that it was done. Yeah, that's true too. They don't have you know. You have to prove that they did it. You can't you can't just show evidence that they could have happened. Mm-hmm. But I mean, all all signs point towards the LAPD being involved in both of these murders. Yeah, yeah, at least so far, totally. Yeah, of course we got eight episodes. Maybe do you, do you guys think by the end of the show, or at least some point, uh, when we get to see like a future Jimmy Simpson that uh, what space wasn't allowed to talk to? Do you think it'll be the Man in Black? That's what I said last week. I, I that'd be cool, but I doubt it. <laughs> but like, do you think it, we'll see that guy again, like an old man version of him? Well, you know he died in 2015, right? Oh, he did. Yeah, well, I mean, the show, yeah, but the show's but, like, 2006. 2006, so it's no, I know, possible. but uh, yeah. Yeah, I didn't know that though. But yeah, do, do you think and we'll so? See did him? Uh, he died of an apparent heart attack, and then uh, do you think his the police bodyguard, his bodyguard also is dead. Oh, Frank Alexander, he is dead. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, of a self-inflicted gunshot wound to the head. Oh, I've seen shooter. That could happen to anybody. <laughs> so, like, so it has to. Do, so, do you it's th- weird. Like, do you think so they were killed? Involved or, that are just dead. Do you think they were you killed know? too? Um, I mean, I don't, I don't know about Poole because he actually retired from the police force in 1999 and he like started like his own like private detective company. To, oh, so that's to, only three years after where we're at now too. To, to fur- yeah, to further do more investigating. And then, uh, yeah, 2015, he died of a apparent heart attack. Yeah. I mean, that seems. That, we should become detectives and solve this case. I want to say, I want to say he was born in 1951 from the research I did. I could be wrong on that. So, I mean, he would have been. 65, 64, I think, yeah. give or take. Uh, I mean, so I guess that that's not as fishy. No, but that's interesting. I didn't know any of that. But and and Tupac's bodyguard could have just been felt feel guilty too. Yeah, I don't. He seemed pretty genuine. I mean, he seemed pretty genuine. I mean, the actor seemed pretty genuine, and like, uh, like he actually, you know, gave a shit. Like, and was like, yeah, like, a, and you know, he he wrote a book. Oh, did he? Hmm. And did it say Suge Knight did it? Yeah, do you no. know? Now, see, that's the thing. Is it Suge Knight or is it the police? It's probably oh, both. I think, I think it's Suge Knight with getting the, the police, co- controlling the police. police. Yeah. yeah. I mean, because I mean, you think about it. Like, I, I don't, I don't know if that's a common practice or, or if it was a common practice, like having the police like do side jobs. Yeah. But I mean, I would think that 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 the police, like the LAPD, would not want their police officers doing you know side work for a fucking basically a mob boss he's not a mob boss but i mean he's like a fucking you know a gangster yeah you know? i was actually surprised that he would want i mean i can see how that could be a, side. a conflict of interest for sure yeah i mean but i mean they yeah i don't know i mean well, i wonder if that's even legal you know what i mean like now I, i'm assuming sure now it's not like yeah i don't i feel like that can't be well i mean it just, I guess it just depends on how you do it. Like, I mean. And the, the, the police know that he's obviously a fucking criminal. You know what I mean? 
Yeah, but not all police aren't criminals, you know what I mean? I understand there's going to be crooked cops. There's always has and always will be. Yeah, I mean, or they might still be alive. Yeah. Um. So, at the end of this episode, Tupac says he's going to meet with Biggie. This, yes. This is the first time he gets shot then, right? I, I, I'm, I'm assuming that, that this is where it's going to lead. Oh, really? I didn't know. Because, I didn't know because when, when he told him, when he told him, Biggie seemed like, no, you don't have to do that. And, like, he seemed kind of, like, off or weird He did it. seem very off, yeah. Like, he, he wasn't excited. Oh, I just thought he was surprised that he was going to fly well, from to L.A. to me, New to York me, in a day just because he was having, like, he needed help or whatever. He seems surprised to me, yeah, but he also, it kind of seemed like he didn't want him there. Oh, so yeah. I, I didn't get that at all. I mean, I, that could just be me, though. But see, I mean, I, I don't, and I don't know if this is, like, um, I don't know, because from, from what I know, I mean, at that point, I don't think there was any of that West, East Coast, West Coast bullshit. Yeah, See, I don't like, know. That's why I don't like, I mean, I like the show, but I don't like how they jump around so much. Like, I feel like they jump around a shit ton, and I feel like it should have been, <clears throat> excuse me, I feel like it should have been done in a different order. I feel like it should have started in, like, 1993 when they were friends and then went from there and, like, told you the story of, how they were friends, and then how they became not friends. Yeah. And then, you know, because it's just like back and forth, back and forth. So it's like, I'm assuming that that's what, when he gets shot, when he goes back to New York. But I don't know, because I don't know what time, I don't know. I mean. Well, I think was, they're, they're showing that. It's just the jumping back and forth is just like three different timelines, kind of. <clears throat> yeah. Well, I get the, I the, like the, uh... the jumping back and forth, though, I feel like is just because, like, it's when the police get the information yeah. So it's it's because like it's so we're kind of seeing the whole show from from these police officers' perspective, and then it's the so flashbacks. It's like, so like we're not being... supposed, so like theoretically we're not supposed to know anything, and then like oh we just got the information because they just got it and like stuff like that. Yeah, sort of. But like so, and I also think like it's ten episodes. You know, like they're they're also trying to save like some of the beef and all that shit. Like, well, yeah, they gotta like, keep, dra- drag it on it. some and keep yeah. it going through. Yeah, because everybody knows that they didn't like each other at some point. Right. You can't, like, show that. You know what I mean? Like, it, it right does, off the bat. This does really make well, me want there to be, like, another show or a movie or something just about Tupac and Biggie's whole relationship. Like, not even the police side, just that. I, find, I think Uh-oh. that'd be very interesting to see. Yeah, the problem it'll, is, is I don't believe anybody. Because, it'll be interesting to see because I don't, I don't really know, um, like, why... Or who, or how, or you know, Tupac was shot when he went to New York, and, and that, and I, that's when he assumed it was Biggie. I, I, I remember, but I, I don't know if I have the facts right. You know what I mean? Like, I, I just right. remember, um, him going there. I thought he was in like a studio or something. Yeah, it was a studio for sure. Yeah, and then so would he be shot in the studio or yeah? Going and there? I, I want to say he like came, like he was in the studio for like. 16 hours and then came out and then like he got shot like as soon as he came out of the, the recording studio or something yeah something like that uh, I, yeah. I, don't, I don't remember completely was so was biggie in the studio with him yeah like like i i feel like he was downstairs and like biggie was upstairs in the studio or something like that but i mm. could completely making this up but the east coast west coast thing i mean that's always been there they just amplified it yeah but it i mean when they amplified it they amplified it i mean yeah but I mean, it's it, yeah know. Right, but it's always been there. uh, His bodyguard, uh, Frank, even said, like, it was, you know, on on another level. Like, the East Coast, West Coast feud. Yeah, um, yeah. Uh, Uh, Obviously. And that's why everybody was so on, such on high alert. You know, it's funny because uh, they kind of portrayed Biggie in the first episode as he was very laid back, nonchalant about when he went to Cali and his mom was worried. And he was like, "Oh, it's cool, you know. I'm, I'm, I'm loved out here. Like, I'm, I'm safe. I'll be fine." And then when they portray Tupac, like they portray him as uh, like paranoid. Like he was always looking behind his back. He was always afraid that somebody was gonna fucking kill him. Yeah. So I mean, like, but I, Tupac's you know, been I, through more shit than Biggie. At well, yeah, that but point. I, it's funny how you know, like, one's one, you know, one's one way, one's the other way, like. You know, one's just cool, laid back, like, you know, really relaxed. And the other one's like uptight, fucking, you know, 
ready to fucking pull a gun and shoot you in your face if you tap him on the shoulder and, you know, he's behind you or something. Yeah, but one of them just came out of jail. One yeah. Of, one of them... I don't, I don't think... I don't think... I don't know if Biggie ever even went to jail. Right. That was... That's my point. So, like, you, so yeah. you think jail made him that way? Like made Not him necessarily paranoid? jail, but I mean, just the whole thing. He'd been through a lot more than Biggie at that point. Yeah. All Biggie had well, done I, is... I think, and I think getting with Death Row, you know, changed a lot of his outlook and his perspective on things for sure. Because I think, you know, Suge Knight was kind of like, uh, and this is, this is going to be quotable. I think Suge Knight, <laughs> oh, I think Suge Knight was kind of like Hitler. <laughs> Hitler? Yeah. Just, just like, and like, you know, and Death Row is like his Nazi Germany. Yeah, I, 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 it's a, it's a crazy analogy, but I really do feel that way. Like, that he was just, you can know, can you explain a little bit? Yeah, he was spoon, he was just spoon feeding them <laughs> what they wanted to hear, <laughs> and, and and they and they were all. I mean, think about it; they're all young kids. You know, you got fucking uh, Daz Dillinger, corrupt Snoop Dogg, Tupac, Dog Pound, um, well, what is her, Lady of Rage. Dr. Dre. Yeah, they all I mean, suck except for Tupac and Dre. Uh, Snoop Dogg was... I, oh, his first, Snoop. Snoop. His first album was good, Doggy Style. Um, but, because I, I mean, I don't know. Maybe, maybe not to that extent. Maybe not the Hitler thing. But, yeah. I mean, like, I really do think he was just spoon-feeding them what they wanted to hear, and he was manipulating the shit out of them all and making himself rich off of them. I can kind of see that one thing, and I, that's why, and that's why Dre left, and that's why Dre said, "Fuck you, I, I'm out of here." I do want to say this because I thought of this during the episode, and Josh Jamal totally reminded me of Hess. I even told you about this. Oh yeah, he says every theory is true until proven false, and I was like, "That's totally Hess's slogan." There we go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a shirt that says that. <laughs> I told him that's gonna be like on your tombstone. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, you. Yeah, I don't that he. Suge's like every other music producer, except that he used violence. Well, yeah. I mean, that's it. Every other fucking music producer does the same shit, except they don't necessarily like hold fucking Easy E out of fucking window or Vanilla Ice out of window or shit like that. Yeah. But um. Well, at least we don't hear. Yeah. Um. <laughs> so you watched over the weekend. You watched. Uh, was it? Is it called All Eyes on Me? The, the Tupac movie? I watched like a half an hour of Wait, it. So yeah. What did you think about the half hour you watched? I, I didn't mind it at all. I was, I, when we got home and he was, he was I don't know what the song's called, the one that Hess played last week where he said he fucked uh, Biggie's bitch. Yeah. He hit was, him up. Hit him up. He was making that when we walked in the house. Oh, yeah. Cause I and it was playing a monster dancing like some kind of tard. And I was like, oh, this is the song Hess showed me. Yeah. And he's like, that's why I fucked your bitch, you fat motherfucker. And I was like, yeah, I knew that part. That's funny. And Trump's like, I know Tupac now. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't really know anything about either one of them before the show. Like, I, like we have the movie about Biggie. Oh, have they, you seen I, that? I didn't know there was a movie called. about Biggie. I've never seen the Biggie movie either. What's it called? I just it, said I don't remember what it's called. Oh, I think it's called, I think it's <laughs> called Notorious. Yeah, it's good. I like oh, it really? a lot. I yeah. say, I, I've heard it's good. I, I just I've never seen it. We should watch it. I got some quotes from it. You want to <laughs> guess them? For sure. I don't know, really. Tupac's a bitch. That's the only one I remember. More mo, mo money, more problems. Yeah, he di- and he dies at the end. Spoiler. Is really? It- yeah. <laughs> Does he get like resurrected or something? Hey, are you guys like Crips and Bloods? Red, red Mike, blue Mike? Is that? Is oh, that it could intent? be. I thought this fucker was orange. So <laughs> don't fucking ask me about Crips and Bloods. <laughs> Wait, hold on. This whole time we've been doing podcasts, you thought you that was orange? Yeah. Wow, I, I, I did not know that. I'm colorblind. His shirt looks orange. It's red. Uh, it's red. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> wow, I did that's, not know that. That's red. Yeah, that light's red. So is your mic. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. So, you know, so, you know what he does? so it takes him like fucking, un- I don't know. It takes forever to set this little shit up. Oh, yeah, I would assume. Yeah, so he's doing all this shit. And then he, like, switches, like, some shit on the camera and goes, what did you like better, this one or this one? I'm like, they look exactly the fucking same. <laughs> he does it all the time. And he's like, oh, well, I... he just wants another opinion. Yeah, yeah the... I want another opinion. And then I forget that I'm asking a fucking colorblind guy who thinks his uh, microphone's r- orange. Well, that sucks. D. <laughs> it's orange is red. No, it's not. It's just red. <laughs> Whatever. <Yeah. laughs> Uh, so what else do you guys like about this episode? Uh, I, I will say, okay, so when, uh, so the Josh Dumal, they're now an FBI task force. Like, they're a full-blown FBI task force. Yeah. 
So when they first get to that office that they go to, the black guy, he pulls up. He's in the Can nice car. Can you be car. more specific? Not bunk. Yeah, the, 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 the bald guy who went to Philadelphia with bunk. Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't know his name. Couldn't tell you his name. Yeah, I don't know. Either. Um, but the like the lieutenant or whatever know, was like, "Hey, that's an awfully nice car for a cop salary or something." And then when they're walking in, did you catch the lieutenant like look back and like kind of was like, "Man, that really is a fucking nice car for a cop salary." Oh, I didn't. I didn't, I didn't. I didn't catch that. that. I wish I would have. So you think really? he's? On, you think he's like a modern day one of the cops on? Someone's payroll. Yeah, or I, I, I don't. I don't know if he was involved in it, but I mean. Well, because remember they of... they say how much information he has on Tupac and all that. Maybe there's a reason why. Like he's involved or something. I mean, maybe I don't know. They did say something about him cloning the cloning phones in the first episode. Yeah. And then he was in trouble, so maybe he was doing something and made a little. Yeah, I, I I thought it was weird because I'm like, oh, I'm like, I wonder, you know, because like sometimes like. TV shows will try to trick you into thinking one thing, but like, yeah, it, I mean, it, it, to me, it was just blatantly obvious that he, you know, that that the lieutenant, the curly haired guy, was just like, man, that that really is a nice fucking car for a for a cop salary or whatever, you know? Yeah, I didn't even catch that. Yeah, I didn't either. I wish I really wish I would have saw, heard that. What was it? Where was this? Was the, it? It was when, uh, you know, when they when they first show up to their their new building, wherever their task force oh, is. Yeah, set, yeah. And they're in the parking lot, and Josh Jamal gets out of the. He's in like a Tacoma truck or Toyota truck, and then they show the lieutenant, like the fat, curly-haired guy, walk up to him, and he's talking. And then they pan the the camera, and it's the black, the bald black guy who went to Philadelphia with Bunk. Yeah. And um, he, you know, he's like, "Wow, that's a nice car." Blah 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 blah. And he's like, "Oh yeah, somebody's got to be stylish or something in this." You know, oh, I, I do remember him saying that. Now that you mentioned, and, it, and then. And, the, the lieutenant was like, I, that needs to be me. Like, I'm the boss or something like that. And then and then they're walking in, and they pan to the fat guy, and he, like, turns around and looks at the car and just kind of, like, you know, gives, like, a perplexed look. Like, you know, holy shit. But, so I, I think it just kind of put a little. Hey, do that, look, do that look one more time. <laughs> I feel, I feel like, uh, I feel like you know, put a little little question marker in his head, you know, like maybe he'll kill, maybe he killed Biggie and Tupac. I don't know. And then he bought a car. Maybe he's the son of the man who killed Biggie and Tupac. Maybe. <laughs> no, I do like, I do like it, and but it is weird that like we're not gonna. Are we talking to someone else now? What the fuck? Oh, uh, now it's now it's hip cool has. Now you're the guy with the curly hair. Pre come. <laughs> You can't just say that, can you? I did not expect that. Uh, what were you saying? Well, now I've lost my train of thought because he put his hat on backward and said pre-cum. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think he says that like during sex? I don't know. Get Abby in Takes here. Takes off his hat. <laughs> I was going to say, do you want me to call Abby in? Or? All of a sudden, this turns into a plea of sex tape. Uh, I'd have to leave. <laughs> yeah. We call it a plex tape. Wow. Hey, you know, you should get. If you guys, uh, you guys follow Kenny G on Twitter. I don't know who that is. I do, and no. <laughs> it's fucking stupid. Everything he makes like sexual innu- innuendos, and they're all based on like saxophone. <laughs> so like, it's so fucking retarded. Like, just look it up one day, and it's like, it's is just it stupid. really Kenny G? I swear to God, it's Kenny G. Oh, okay, <laughs> and it's like. I want to sax you up. Oh, we got, uh, we no, got poor, no. oh, but we have a poor connection. Oh no, he's back. Okay, we had poor connection for you for a second, and you disappeared. Um, so have you thought of a question for Hess? No, we have to keep talking. You even thought of like a history question? What year no. was the War of eighteen twelve? This has to be about a theory here, Chief. Yeah, then they like. Uh, I'm not an Indian. Is that a theory? It's a trivia night. I hate when people call me Chief. Sorry, Chief. Jesus. What about Bub? You like Bub? Yeah, yeah, no, I, Bub's I think, worse. I think that's going to be his new name. Chief? It's going to be the, the, the we'll Jerome be... Chief and Fat Ninja show. <laughs> I'll be sitting it out, puffing on my no, peace pipe. We'll, we'll give you a little like wooden like headband with a feather sticking out of it. How is that racist? Calling you Chief? I was kidding. Okay. I'm... I know I know that, I know that this person who is younger than me, and she calls me kid. Drives me fucking nuts. All right, kid. <laughs> 
Is it I mean, it just is because your name's Billy. <laughs> it's just weird. Yeah, Billy the Kid yeah. for sure. So Hess, yeah. uh, what are your thoughts on the Earth being uh, flat? It's definitely not flat. Oh, okay. Yeah, I would make it. What are your thoughts on ghosts? Ghosts? Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. They're they're legitimately real. Do you have a ghost story for us? Um, we can we can start ghost time with Hess. You want to like ghost light a like, campfire or something? I can go get a I candle. Wish we get, like, I wish we could get like I wish we. I'm sure the equipment is just outrageously expensive, but it would be cool as fuck to get like EMF, you know, readers. Oh, and shit. And go like ghost hunting and shit. Yeah, that'd be fucking cool as fuck. That would be fun. Not with me, it wouldn't be fun. Why, yeah, because what if we what, what if we spook no, you? I think it would be the dumbest thing ever. You yeah, but walk, the, but like, then what if you? Oh, f- nope, didn't find anything this time. What if you actually found a ghost and you was like you got spooked? I don't think that. I've would never happen. I've never seen you spooked in my life. I don't believe in that shit. But then what if you don't do it? So you don't think there you don't think ghosts exist? Oh. Really? I mean, maybe. I haven't seen one. Okay. I I've never you know, like how come they only like like you like no one's ever like had a house built in the seventies and now it's fucking haunted. It's always gotta be from like seventeen sixty two or something. Well, I don't think that's necessarily true. Sure seems like it. No, it's always I, like an old house. Like, like that one time, I was at Brian's cousin's house. I was staying the night there, and oh God, here we go. It was like I, wo- I, I like this. this I woke. Is good. This is good. I woke up at like three in the morning, and everybody else was asleep. And I was looking over at their dinner table, and every chair at the dinner table flew outwards, and I almost shit my pants. I started freaking out, and I woke up Brian, and I was like, "Did you hear that?" He's like, "Yes, go fucking back to sleep. We're not dealing with this." And he was like, "How old were you?" I was probably like twelve or thirteen at the time. I was free. I could not go back to sleep. And then and you're one hundred percent positive. I'm one, every chair moved. And then I, the per, I woke up. My friend next to me. He heard it too. He didn't see it, but he heard the chairs move. Yeah. And he told me to just go back to sleep. And I was like, "How the fuck am I supposed to go back to yeah, sleep after that?" Yeah, I would have been like, that? "I'm going home, bitch. <laughs> I'm not going back to sleep." Like, I was terrified after that. I've, I've n- nothing like that's ever happened. To and me. then one night, this was total. This isn't like what, actual. What, place. what year was that house built in? I have no idea. Fucking like 1980. It was out like in the middle of nowhere, though. Oh yeah. Oh, there you go. See? <laughs> but so I, <laughs> there so you go. We were at one. And I got another one. One time we were at Mason and Chris's house, their like their first house, one that Chris first bought. Mm-hmm. Um, and we he showed us paranormal activity for the first time, and it scared the shit out of me. So then he made us sleep upstairs, which was really, really sucked. Upstairs there was no bed; we had to lay on the floor. It was real shitty. You gotta feel safer upstairs because but, someone break. Yeah, because ghosts but can't fly. I, I couldn't fall asleep, and I kept annoying Taylor because like I was like, "No, stay awake, talk to me." And she's like, "No, fuck you, I'm going to sleep." So then all of a sudden, like in that movie, right when like the ghost attacks, like at the end, you hear this loud bang, and we heard a noise very similar to that, and we both freaked out, We're like, "What the fuck?" And we went to go open the door to go outside, and it was Chris. He opened the door and goes, "Sorry, I dropped some pots and pans in the kitchen." And we're like, why the fuck were you playing with the pots and pans at like midnight? And he didn't have an explanation for us. You know that the witching hour is from three o'clock to four o'clock in the morning. You need to know this, right? Yeah, because my mom's obsessed with all that. Yeah, I didn't know. What's a witching hour? That's when they come out to play. Yeah. Uh, supposedly, the witching hour is uh, between three and four o'clock. Do they have like watches? <laughs> so they they uh, <laughs> they're they, like they, up. Well, time to go play. They actually say that if you wake up regularly between three and four, that a spirit or someone is trying to get in contact with you. Oh, guess what time I woke up this morning? Three or four o'clock. <laughs> There's a spirit getting in contact I, with you. I oh, you had or I had there. to go to work. I was saying I thought you had to be to work at three. Oh, I had to be at. You're right. I so missed you, him. So you did not wake up in the witching hour. So like yeah. when I left, there's probably ghosts all over this fucking place. Yeah, dude, you probably got the dick fuck? ghosted all over. Oh, I hate dick ghosts. <laughs> The fuck's a dick ghost? No, all right. So, do you want to hear my ghost story? Yeah, no, I do. Okay, right, but so... I am, wait. I want to say I'm gonna make fun of you for it. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Why did you make fun of Jerome? I did. He's mm. probably Brian had a dog. It probably fucking went underneath the fucking table Bram's, and moved it to the was, damn chairs. It was Bram's cousin. What? It, it was Bram's cousin, and he didn't have a dog. And his dog moved every chair at the table at the exact same time. Yeah, I was gonna say, what are the odds of that? Well, if I got scared every time a chair moved in this house. <laughs> Well, that's not fair. We have a pig here. <laughs> she moves everything. Yeah, you just be sitting there and you're, and you're like, Phoebe, knock it off. She just moves yeah. the chair. But all right, She's so, not a ghost. So sure. Tell us your ghost story. All right, so uh, this is at my uncle's apartment. It was like a, it was a weird apartment. <laughs> what? Apartments aren't haunted. I'm just no? kidding. Go ahead. No, how would it, I know? I didn't know when the like, preaching hour was. I don't know. I was probably nine, ten. So we're uh, like, he, my uncle's a, a quadriplegic. He's in a uh, wheelchair. 
he's paralyzed from the neck down. He can use his hands, but uh, and his head obviously he can talk, but uh, he can't move anything. He can't move his legs. He can't move. You know, <laughs> I love when Hessex played stuff. That's my favorite thing in the <laughs> world. So, uh, so he can he use his like... head. <laughs> So he, uh, so we're we're like um, he has a he has a nurse's aide that would come and tuck him in, or not tuck him <laughs> in. <but> like... <laughs> get, oh my god! Uh, uh, that, I have one too. Him, She's called a hooker. That would get him out of his wheelchair and into his bed and like get him all situated and stuff, you know. Tuck him so, in. So um, they he, it's like a. I don't even know how to explain it. It's like it, it's on wheels and it's it's tall, so it goes over his bed. Like it, so, if he needs to pull it close to him, like oh, it like, has a, like, like a food tray type thing. Yeah, but, so it has like the uh, back then they were house phones, so it had like the cordless phone on it, a, a pitcher of water, like a glass, and some maybe like some little snacks. So if he got hungry in the middle of the night, because he can't get up. So um, one night, like he he would always keep it off to the off to the side, just like an arm's reach, but like. He can't, he couldn't even move like so he when he goes to bed like he he either goes to bed on his side or on his back and like whatever whatever position he's in like he can't move until like the next morning so he somehow the water like the pitcher of water got knocked over okay and the entire tray was soaking wet except for a circle around the cordless phone like oh wow i don't know if you want to consider that a ghost story but i mean it's just a trip like what the fuck like what knocked it over i mean it's just a regular ass water pitcher it's not like it was like a tall skinny jar that would be easily knocked over but it was knocked over and you know like if this is a cordless phone it was just a perfect ring of water around the cordless phone it did not get wet i mean that's like, weird. Are, that's very weird that's that's weird that's not a ghost story. How do you know it a ghost a... didn't knock it over? The ghost like, check this shit out, Wait, motherfucker. I got, I got a question without being mean. Yeah. If he can't move, what good is snacks on the side? <laughs> he can move his hands. But then can he, if he can move his hands, he can knock over the pitcher. Okay, but even if, even if he did knock it okay, over. Okay, the, the, the ring's a little weird. Maybe he yeah. knocked it over and the ghost was like, wait, your phone, and grabbed the phone. Oh, there you go. And then. The ghost was helping. Maybe. Hey, well, why, Maybe. And why are all ghosts mean? No, they're not all. Haven't you heard of Casper the Friendly Ghost? Yeah, he's the only one. No, there's some people have that. Let's like, go ghost hunting. Like Macy's. Uh, Macy's. I would love to, but you just said it'd be stupid. Yeah. Well, no, because it would be stupid. Me and Hess. But it'd be fun to be. We'll stupid. go on. We'll be the next ghost hunters. Could you imagine we start our own plicas? Yeah, we like people like old ladies call us and give us tons of money to go investigate their house. But yeah, you're haunted. I think I think I think it would be the most perfect scam for sure. Except that now you just said it on video. What? You can't be telling people your scam. It's not. I didn't say scam. I said it would be the perfect cam. Oh, like, we thought you yeah. said scam, and I was like, scam. I was like, yeah, I'm onto that. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we could go to Jerome, not not your house. I went there. I went to Jerome. Did Jerome you see I've been to Jerome. He's yeah. been in Jerome. You know. Uh, <laughs> wow. Uh, I don't want to know. You got uh. let it. You, you know what? One, one time we we took a photo and we're at Jerome with me bending over at the entering Jerome sign. Yeah, because <laughs> then wild. now entering Jerome. That right there. Yeah, I think I've seen that. I think it's on your Facebook page or Instagram or something. Something like that. Yeah. Um. Did you see any ghosts in Jerome? And no. We um, stayed at the, we stayed in at the, the city hotel. of Jerome. Did you see any ghosts? What? But we stayed at the haunted hotel in Jerome. And no ghosts, huh? Uh, I heard one thing they they said you because it used to be a hospital. You'd hear them pushing the carts down the hall at night. It used to be a, it used to be a, a, an insane asylum. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah. And I yeah. I heard the cart in the elevator moving, even though the elevator was broken. But that's the only things I heard, and that could have just been noises. So I don't really necessarily know if that was ghosts or not. But I was only I was only one that heard stuff. One hundred percent ghosts. It, it, you, you, you don't know that. It shit. was very it was very cool to be in there and like seeing the whole town. Except this guy, we went on a ghost tour there, and the guy was showing us all these buildings. And he was just pulling the shit out of his ass the whole time. But he was talking about there was this apartment building there, and these two sisters lived there, and it was haunted forever. And he's like, but you know, the way to get rid of ghosts is just rearrange your furniture in the house, and it confuses them when they leave. And I was like, well, that sounds like bullshit to me. But then he continues it, and then you end the tour back at the same house, and he's like, yeah, 15 years later, the ghosts came back. 
And I was like, well, then the fucking thing you just said obviously doesn't work. Yeah, that's. Yeah, I think they need to hire a new guy. Yeah, and the guy, that. he was just so boring and doing like we went to. He made like we went to a, like an abandoned hospital, all the shit. He made it so boring. We were all over it. Yeah. Could you imagine if I was that tour guide? It'd be a lot of fun. <laughs> it'd be pretty interesting. I'll give you that. I don't know if it'd be informative, but it'd be interesting. <laughs> uh, do you, you you guys ever? I'm sure you've been to uh, Flagstaff. Yeah. yeah. The have you heard of the Hotel Monte Vista? No. It's a supposed haunted hotel. I stayed there. Did you uh-huh. see any ghosts? Did you see any ghosts? I did not. I saw snow the next morning when I woke up. I don't think that counts. Did the ghost make it snow? Maybe maybe snow is ghost come. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Just yeah. saying. I'm going to check something real quick. While we're, like, while we're talking about ghost come. Uh, so according to this, it's still recording, so we'll see. That, that's good. I just wanted to double check if it was if it would like turn off in the middle or whatever. No, I, I, I don't have any like. So even like as a child, you were never into ghosts or anything. Like you never scared about any of that, anything like that. Like you never watched like Halloween and were like, "Fuck, he's gonna come through my window as a ghost." I think I was whatever. more afraid of Jaws. Were you one of those kids that thought Jaws was gonna come out of your toilet and kill you? No, I thought bathtub. Oh, how does that make sense? Uh, you think no you idea. think it's okay for a shark to come out of your bathtub, I but you like, think ghosts are made up? I was three, motherfucker. <laughs> God. Who let you watch Jaws at three? Oh, my parents didn't mean to. We went to a drive-thru, and like we a were drive watching- A drive-thru? A drive-in yeah. movie. Yeah, drive-in, not drive-thru. Okay. <laughs> we went to McDonald's. Like, oh, totally different. We, <laughs> went and got, we got Jack in the Box, and I was watching Jaws. No, um, so it's playing. We, like, we were watching something else, but I was watching Jaws on the other side. That makes sense. And scared the shit out of me. But, I mean, I was... And you couldn't even hear it. Well, you don't need... Yeah. Right. Yeah. Someone could just be behind you. Dun, I just dun, saw dun, a fucking dun, dun, giant... Dun, dun. <laughs> giant ass shark eating people was good enough to scare me, I guess. Definitely. But Did no, Deep I... Blue scare you? What? Did Deep Blue Sea scare you? No, because then I was an adult, and I okay. saw a fake fish eating a Samuel L. Jackson. Okay. I was just making sure. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I... Like, do you believe, like, in heaven and hell and all that shit, too? Uh, I don't know. Well, I mean, isn't that the same shit? Uh, that's, where it gets, that's where it gets iffy. I believe in ghosts, but Jesus, no. <laughs> no, I know that sounds completely stupid. I'm very well aware of that. That's interesting. I don't know. Like, do you, do you guys believe in aliens? Like, do you think there's aliens and shit out there? Yes, I 100% think there are. Uh, yeah, probably. But I don't think that we. I mean, there has to be something else out I mean, there. Yeah, pro- it's too big. Not it's anywhere, too big. not anywhere near us, probably. But yeah. in another galaxy, far, something. far away. Yeah, there's like there's like Darth Vader and shit. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure there's aliens because there's got to be other, and it may not even be. I mean, I like don't it, think doesn't, green it doesn't have to be like intelligent or anything either. But there has there has to be some other living thing. There's out like there a space. sponge on some fucking place that is alive. <laughs> do you think if there is aliens out there and they are intelligent, do you think they do podcasts? No, they probably just listen to ours. <laughs> That's probably what the over 100 views were, were just alien. Oh, you know how badass that would be if like all our views were from people from other planets? Just hacking into the old YouTube. Yeah, I don't I don't know how that would be cool. Or, That'd be awesome. You know how it's like... Hey, what if what if Plika means like, hello, an alien? Or Plika doesn't mean shit. Or what if, on the other end, what if Plika's like the N-word in Alien and we're like... We're like... <laughs> We're making all the aliens pissed off, and they're just going to come and destroy Plika. We're racist wow. aliens. Yeah, we're racist against aliens on accident, because yeah. Taylor said a funny word once. You know, it's hard to have a conversation with the two of you. Oh, I, meant to, I, meant to, I meant to start the show with this, but uh, how them chicken bones? Oh, my chicken bones, they've actually been really good lately. They haven't hurt in like a week. That's good. Yeah, yeah. you know why? Because you haven't done shit in a week. I actually went to the zoo and climbed the mountain. What are you pointing at? The zoo's that way. <laughs> uh, maybe, <laughs> but we we went to the zoo. We went on a little hike. I believe you're pointing south. My uh, chicken bones were hurting like dick then. Yeah, you're... when you went up the old the old red rocks up there in Sedona. No, we the... went to the the what's it called? Uh, Papago Park next to the zoo. Yeah, uh, the yeah. We did the red rocks the one before, right? That was the yeah. weekend before. Yeah. The so we... hole in the rock, hole in the mountain, or whatever. Yeah, we actually sat in like a little cave thing and talked for a little bit. I think that comes out this Sunday. You, did you guys do a little podcast from there? No, but I do think that'd be really fun to go on a hike and do a podcast. Yeah, I think you guys should. I mean, obviously, it's a lot of equipment and shit. And... Yeah, but I got a backpack, so I'll just put all the shit in my backpack and bring it up there. 
Well, it's only going to get hotter from here on out. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do it in July. It, I think it'd be now. really cool, like, for the finale of this show or whatever, me, you, and Hess go somewhere and do, like, a live podcast together. We should go to, like, Chick-fil-A. <laughs> <laughs> it's not what I was expecting, but that would be funny as fuck. Are we going to hike there? Can you imagine, like, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to Random Random. Like, we, we go to, like, to uh, we go to, like uh, Metro Center Mall Food Court. That would be awesome. We'd probably get kicked out for filming, but that'd be awesome. Uh, how would it be any different than doing it anywhere else? Because you're like, there's random people walking around. Yeah, like, it'd be loud as fuck. I it, mean, probably not. The audio would be up. terrible. <laughs> yeah. There's like four people at Metro Center. You think it's going to be loud? Oh, that's true. They probably wouldn't get to be I happy. You I bet you it's busier now because that Walmart opened over there. Oh, did it? Oh, isn't that Walmart part of the mall too? Yeah, Walmart's connected to the mall. It's like Chris Town now. Yeah, that can't be a good thing. Yeah. Yeah, you know your mall's fucked when you need a Walmart to save it. Yeah, I used to hang out at Metro Center, but that was a long time ago. Yeah, me too. No, you didn't. Back, back no, when they didn't. had me and uh, me and, and Brian used to. Yeah, but it was still dead then. It was getting dead then. It wasn't as dead as it is yeah. now. There was like there was like maybe that, three more stores then. I remember when that mall was actually popping back in the day. Yeah, they filmed Bill and Ted's there. Yeah, that's I always that every time I see that mall, that's all I think of is Bill and Ted. Like every time. That's funny. Where okay, so Jerome, if you want, if we if we were going to do that, where would you where would you like your uh, your dream location be to shoot the finale to uh, unsolved Tupac and Biggie murders? Um, hmm. and if you if you need to take a moment, go right ahead. I'm okay. gonna ask you. The, I'm gonna ask you the same question, Nick. So start thinking now. Okay? I already have my answer. What's your answer? All right, go, go Top ahead. Top of Piestawa Peak. Oh fuck my the asshole. Piestawa Peak. Yeah. Wow, you trying to kill a motherfucker or what? Yeah, yeah. I just want to see the team that, you can make it. Piestawa Peak is what broke my fucking chicken bones. <laughs> are, are you just are, are you chicken bones your shins? No, it's like you know the little the little area the little tiny bones right un, they're not really bones but right behind your knee. It's bones. Uh-huh, the, the tendons. Yeah, it's my tendons that hurt. Okay. That's what I call them. I tried to explain to him that he's not a chicken. So no, it's because it's because bones. they're so tiny. I, I call think, them chicken bones. I, I think you need to rename them to like chicken tenders or chicken tendons. <laughs> that would make more sense. But the only reason I call them that is because like you know how this is weird that I like because I, I I thought they were shin splints. So uh, I, I assumed, that's what I assumed. But like you know how chickens like their legs are like so fucking skinny, and that's what yeah. fi- feeling that bone reminds me if I was like feeling a chicken, and that's why I call them my chicken bones. So basically, he's choking his chicken. Okay. Is that the bottom so, line? The, yeah. The top of... Okay, so here's the deal. The top of Piesua Peak, I think that as we get closer, we should create a poll on Facebook and, and people can vote on, on like the videos as to where they want us to do the finale. And if it is physically possible, I say we pull it off. Oh, God. I would... We'd be dead. Can we do like halfway up Piesua? What good would that be? You don't want to pain the ass to be at the top. There's not that much room. Yeah, I know. We like and, and it's probably windy as dick balls. Yeah, I mean we could barely sit down on top of there. Yeah, how imagine windy? my fat Wait, ass. yeah, that is true. Yeah, how I, I how windy are your dick balls? How windy are your dick balls? You've heard them slapping. So oh pretty... God, that's a story in itself. So What's we're that? sitting in our living room waiting you to do a right podcast on Westworld. I did not and walk in your Hess dick balls. Hess says something about he has a dance called the Ball Johns, and we're like, what the fuck is that? And without any warning or skipping a beat, he stands up, flaps his balls back and forth. It sounds like it's some dude clapping and giving applause, but it has his ball slapping his asshole. <laughs> and we're both looking at each other like, what the fuck is he doing? And he just yeah, kept going. You guys yeah. were dying laughing. It was it was the most was, random thing I've ever seen in my it life. Was definitely odd. And then we had yeah. to go do a podcast with Matt Tavak and pretend nothing happened. Yeah, which we didn't. <laughs> yeah. I really wish we recorded I, I all the West podcasts. I still think the best podcasts. one was when I got that pain in my toe. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, since, I, oh. <laughs> that was the best for sure. All right, so Jerome, where would you want to do it if if if, if you could do a podcast for the the, the the tenth episode of Random Ramblings? Honestly, where, I think I think it would look the coolest where we just went in Sedona, where I took that picture on Instagram, where we went, that, that, that where looked, that guy told to go in the area because it was like he's like, oh, it's really cool. Uh, I think really cool. I think over there would look really cool for a podcast. That actually, would and it would it would it would take like maybe fifteen minutes to get up there, and it'd be so high. It would, it would 15, look awesome. It take fifteen minutes to get there, but it take two hours to drive there. Yeah, that's the bad part. And two hours to drive home. Three if there's an accident. But <laughs> but I yeah I, I I think it would three look pretty dope. Three if the dope. motorcycle hits the side of the road on the way home. That's really Yikes. that that did happen. Yeah. Well, all we saw was a helmet. So. <laughs> and wasn't there a boot? 
Maybe we saw a boot. I think there was a boot on the floor as well. Yeah, that's never good. Uh, <laughs> nah, it I kinda, was very inconvenient. I kind of forgot this was a podcast about Tupac and Biggie. We got anything else to say about that? No, I, but I like the show. I, I am too. I look forward to watching it every week. Even though we got to watch it Wednesday because we got Flash and Black Lightning. Yeah. Uh, I, I, it's very, very good so far. I'm excited where it goes, and but I'm also worried where it's going to go because it can't really be an end. Yeah, I'm a little worried about it too. It, it can't be a good ending. Like it, it it's got to leave you wanting more. Unless, unless ah. it goes to the point where like there is an ending, but like the cops covered it up and they know that and shit like that, then it could be interesting. Maybe uh, it, it's, it could still be interesting. I just it's not going to be like won't be fulfilling. Yeah. Totally. Do you have any th- <laughs> do you have any thoughts, Ask? Uh, I I also enjoy it. I uh, I feel like you guys are spot on when you say that it's going to end with us wanting more because yeah. I mean, how could it not? Have any of you guys seen or heard of what the other unsolved seasons are? No. Like what the other ones are about? They they have other ones. I'm assuming so because the show is just called Unsolved, and then this it's this. No, I don't. I, I, mean, I, I don't know. This this could be the first season of it, but I'm I think it's the first USA show other than Mr. Robot I've ever watched. Oh, no, you, we'll, should, we'll, you should watch Shooter. It's pretty good. Well, it's pretty good till you get to. I don't want to spoil stuff for you, but yeah, appreciate it's that. It's pretty good. Yeah, because he's gonna watch Shooter. He might. He'd like it. Did you see the? You know what I, you start, the you, know what I you know what I started watching the other day? What? The Sopranos. Oh. First time. No, I, I've seen the first season, but it was probably fucking five, six years ago. So I uh, I watched two episodes and I I feel like I really enjoy it so far. Hmm. Are you gonna react to the entire series? I'm gonna try to watch the whole series. Yes. You huh? should quit halfway through and then start watching Game of Thrones again. I probably will. Yeah, probably. How how far did you get on Game of Thrones? Uh, I finished season four. Okay, so you have two seasons. So uh, or three. Little little man just killed his uh, grandpappy or daddy or whatever. Oh, that was a good that was a good ending. I like yeah. that. Yeah, and that's where I left off because I I just feel like I you know, gorged myself uh, in like a three-week period, and I was just like, wow, uh, I need to swallow this and let my stomach digest. And, uh, you know, yeah, so I was like, well, you know, and then I got to wait till 2019, you know. I mean, Jesus Christ. Do you want to just say fuck it and, and let us tell you what happens the whole series? No, absolutely not. <laughs> you sure? No, I enjoy it. I love it. I mean, I really do, and I, I will. I will finish it. I will get caught up before the new season starts so I can actually watch the new season. So- Live or whatever you know. When, when you get caught up on the, in the new season airs, should we do random ramblings of Game of Thrones? Sure. Or what if we could maybe st- when he starts watching it, we could watch those seasons with him. We could do some like because this would be over by then probably. We could do random ramblings of Game of Thrones leading up to um, the yeah. Premiere. We got Westworld coming up too. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I would have no problem talking about Game of Thrones. Yeah, that might be kind of fun. I can only imagine yeah, Hess's thoughts. We're gonna do a podcast Thrones. every night, random ramblings every night. We fucking do fucking podcasts every night lately. Yeah, it's, I, we, this I is our it. this is our third podcast this week. We have to That's do awesome. one more. Yeah, That's awesome. Yeah, it's it's been fun though. At least this is not like we don't like dread doing them. No, yeah, it's been fun. Um, but alright, so is this the end of episode two of Random Ramblings? I I want to say that it probably is. I think I think it probably should be. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. thanks for watching this week's podcast, everybody. Comment down below your thoughts on Tupac and Biggie and ghosts and whatever other random shit we talked Aliens. about. Aliens. Aliens. And uh, go check out our Patreon. Like I said, like and subscribe. And we'll see you guys next week for another episode of Random Ramblings. Pre-come?